two inside the Marnie, not really a lockdown special. We haven't reported now in over a month because basically there hasn't really been that much to report on. But it's time for an update. So we'll start up. We'll start off down in Stupa. Last time we reported, not all bars and taverners were open. That is not the case now. So we'll go down to our roving, roaming, fairly useless reporter, Matt, to find out how the safety protocols are going. If you're thinking of coming here in the next month or two, if you can find a flight from the UK, you may be wondering, is it safe? Let's try and answer that question. Over to you, Matt. Thanks, Matt. Well, the first thing you'll notice is the sunbeds are out, but um, hardly in full force. Uh, having a quick look up and down the beach reveals that they are well and truly spaced apart. Nothing like how they looked in previous years, for sure. And it's about half past five on a Wednesday. Um, and this is pretty much normal for the last week or so in terms of the number of people on the beach. Hopefully it will keep increasing slowly, slowly, slowly. Time will tell. So now it's time to have a look at Calogria, which somehow looks a bit more sort of squeezed together in terms of sunbeds, but that might just be uh, an optical illusion of some sort. So that's the issue of the sunbeds. Now, to be fair, it's time to go and film, I think it's, if memory serves, the five places that weren't open last time we did the rounds, which will be Perasma. Stupa Restaurant. Riviera The restaurant of Mango And finally the five brothers. I can't really see how local businesses can be doing anything more to make things safe for foreign visitors. Government protocols are being universally followed. Hand sanitizers everywhere. Menus are being disinfected. Masks are being worn by everybody. Tables and sunbeds are socially distanced, despite the optical illusion of Calogria. 
But of course, whether you view things as being safe is a very individual choice. And of course, there's also the issue of getting here in the first place. But anyway, it'd be good to hear what you think in, in the comments section below. And before I hand back to the studio, let's finish the report with a lovely Stupa sunset. So that's it for this week. Uh, next week, don't forget that it will be Ios Nikolaos. And if you're interested in a free copy of this year's Inside the Marnie magazine, click on the link in the comment section and you can download it for free. Roughly in that area, you'll also find a like sign and a subscribe button. Why not hit them? It really doesn't cost you anything at all. Thank you and see you next week.